All right, welcome to my video series where I'm gonna list the 10 best moves in chess history. Uh, this is a voted in chess.com and you can find all these 10 games there. Uh, but I'm gonna shoot a video for every game and I'm gonna start from the bottom with number 10. This game was played in the Soviet Championships 1964 uh, between Kolmov and Bronstein. And white is, uh, no, black is on the move here. And white is threatening to take this uh, bishop here with a checkmate. And if he cannot really move it somewhere, because it also threatens checkmate there. If so, so black moves the only possible move here, queen e7. And now we have the, this move, which is both the number 10 best move in chess history. And I'm just going to show it to you. If you want to pause the video, go ahead and see if you can find it. It's it's not easy and it's, it's not something quick. It's a really long... Uh, uh, line of moves after that, but here it comes. So white plays this fantastic move, knight c6. Threaten the queen, but it at the same time it just can just be taken directly with the knight. And it's uh, pretty soon you see. I mean, you cannot move the queen, then you will white will take the bishop, and it's a good knight. So black has. To take this knight. Also note that this knight is being uh, threatened, so white really has to do something uh, something quick here, uh, and that's why he also moved knight c6. If he would have just moved this somewhere, black will play bishop b7, and he can put another rook here, and black is so much better. So white decides to go for the uh, initiative. Sacrifice a knight, black takes, and now for another beautiful move right away, e5. The point of this move is to secure, to open up this square for the knight. And it wants the knight to be part of uh, the threat on f6 and the king's attack. All right, so first we're going to look at some different moves here. I can tell you black played... Uh, bishop g5 in the game a threat uh, sacrificed back one piece we're going to look at some different options here if black takes with his knight on e5 then white will get his uh, knight into the game knight e4 and now it's threatening on uh, f6 now black has some problems. He cannot really guard this uh, bishop. If he tries to guard it with uh, knight d7, white will just take with his rook here on d6 and threaten to sacrifice his rook on d7, followed by knight takes f6. And this is not something black really can do anything about. Uh, so this is, uh, the, the computer says, plus 3.5 for black. So it's not possible. The best defense for black here is to sacrifice back a knight uh, on g6, just blocking this, uh, uh, this threat from, from the queen. But it's still not good enough. Uh, white will just exchange here on f6 then take this pawn uh, note here of course you cannot take it here because it's pinned and you cannot sacrifice your queen because it's guarded by the rook and if black takes the pawn with the f pawn then white plays d d2 uh, bishop g2 threaten the rook on a8 at the same time threatening uh, a a, a pin or a skewer here uh, on the F line, on the F file. So it's uh, this is not good enough either. Uh, so black cannot really take this pawn. Best move, as the computer suggests, is queen g7. White will exchange. 
discovered check again if black takes here it's actually going to be a checkmate in two moves like this so he cannot take it he has to go here and white is much better here actually it's one pawn up but look at this king and he's got all the all the territories all the center everything is good all the pieces are developed black has nothing so uh, that was that let's go back and see from this position okay so black has to do something about this threat on f6 so let's first see this is not a good move to take with the pawn but let's have a look at it white will then be able to get his uh, knight to e4 and this is actually made in uh, six moves uh, just need to take here black has to sacrifice his uh, bishop we take it with the knight and we threaten checkmate here black has to play f6 but we take here anyway and you see if black takes well we take this one and it's going to be a, a checkmate like this so black cannot take on h7 so we try something like king a a7 instead well it's going to be a checkmate discovered check queen comes here easiest move is just to take a check with the a knight and don't take the queen and then it's a checkmate so that is uh, not possible for black to take with his uh, d pawn so now let's look at bishop takes now white has another fantastic uh, sacrifice i'm gonna sacrifice the next pawn also on f6 of course threatening checkmate in one black has to take it and he cannot take with the queen because queen takes f8 and it's checkmate so he has to take with his uh, his bishop and now we really cleared all the way so white can continue with bishop d3 again just going to checkmate and again black has to sacrifice his bishop in order to get his pawn up to f6 like this pawn f5 uh, is actually worse we just double up the rooks and it's gonna be a mess here so just trying to get uh, put up his f pawn with the tempo threatening here but it's really not doesn't matter just go oh sorry goes back to g3 and we have some threats here he cannot take on c3 because of bishop takes on h7 same here if he takes it's queen take f8 and checkmate so it's the same idea as if we're on the other line where we took with our knight so he has to do something about that trying to play rook f7 instead and just don't bother about taking this knight white can double up his uh, rooks here and this is really really good for white threatening checkmate not going to go over all these uh, uh, variations here but white is white is doing good uh, about the same uh, as it actually became in the game so let's go back and see what happened in the game then we played knight c6 it took I played e5 bishop g5 check so he sacrificed right away okay so white took on g5 black played f6 we, we recognize this pattern now now white had this uh, great move in between Pawn takes on d6, threaten the queen, getting some material back. The queen has to move, and also he cannot move uh, too far away because he needs to 
cover this, uh, protect this rook on f8. So black played queen f7. Already here, Stockfish says that white is above about 2.3 plus. So white is surely winning here. So, but we, we can look at the whole game and just see how it ended. White played uh, rook g3. Black took here. He wanted to really get some compensation for his bad position. White didn't care about that. With bishop c4, put pressure on the queen. Another uh, pawn. White does not want to take that, of course. He don't, doesn't want black to be able to play rook b8 with the tempo, so king b1 is, is better. Knight went back to d8. White double up his uh, rooks. These threats are really, really something. It doesn't matter that white is a uh, piece down here. It's it, it, Surely he has compensation for this and more. Black played rook a7. Another brilliant sacrifice, for, pawn sacrifice. Uh, we want to either block out the rook from here or block out the bishop from here. Uh, not there. Let's do like this. So, what is black choosing? Well, it chose to take it with the rook. Then, what can use this by taking on e6? Knight took an e6, bishop took an e6. You see here, he cannot take back because of the rook on f8. Instead, black sacrificed a rook on d1, white takes, and then black can take with the bishop. But now, I mean, white is up in material uh, a little bit. And still having all these threats, so it's a uh, it's a fairly easy win from here if you are a grandmaster. For me, not so easy. Okay, what happened then? White took back one uh, pawn, and now we're e even in the pawns and uh, up in the material. As I said, like want to take his rook away from the threat, and at the same time get a tempo with a check. White played king a1. Black is attacking, taking the a2 pawn. White doubled up the pawns on the d line instead. Threatening a check here. Black has to protect that with queen e7. And then white took the bishop on a2. Black is trying to get some uh, sort of uh, perpetual checks here or something like that. But what just put a rook on b3 to stop this. He's a rook up and from here black gave up this game. Of course there's a lot of side variations uh, that I haven't checked. But I cannot make this video two hours long. This would be enough. So this is a classic game. Uh, from the 1964 Soviet Championship, and it was a fantastic victory here. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will make a video for every 10 games on this list, so watch out for more. All right, great. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.